a hair tutorial on this look because it was so highly requested in lots of my uh, most recent videos where I have been wearing this style and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I am by no means a professional so please don't think that I'm trying to be like, you know, a hair styling guru or I don't know, a hair guru because I, I am absolutely not. This is just something I figured out by fluke myself um, and I have gotten a lot of requests for it so I hope you guys enjoy. It is kind of like a princessy, beachy style. It's very natural like most of mine are. It's kind of soft waves and um, almost kind of bedhead look. So um, if you want to figure out how to do this look or how I do this look, then just keep watching. I'm just gonna section my hair into two at the back just because there's so much of it and to make it more manageable and I'm going to take two drops of this into the palm of my hand maybe a little bit more that's more like four drops but I'm just kind of like distributed into my hair probably not the best day to have worn these earrings but whatever next I'm going to keep the hair sectioned in half and just spray about four spritzes of this on each side Then what you want to do is brush out your hair. Just to distribute it evenly into the hair and also get rid of any tangles because they are not advisable for when you're styling your hair. It just makes it easier if your hair is all smoothened out. I'm just going to section it into a top part. So I'll grab two pieces here at the top and make sure I have everything and then I'm just going to Kind of wrap it in like a messy little bun and then secure it at the top. You can use clips for this if it's more convenient. So now I'm just going to be working on this bottom section here and I always work back to front. So I'm going to take about this much hair. Now I'm going to start off wrapping it away from the face. So if you want your hair to face, your curls to face away, then you need to put the curling iron behind the hair. So holding it upside down and just wrapping it around. You should really use a glove for this, but I lost mine in the move um, when we moved house. So that's why I'm not wearing one, but you really should because it's hot. Um, so and you don't want to burn yourself. So I hold this for about 10 seconds to 12 seconds. Um, that kind of seems to work for the thickness of my hair. So that's the kind of effect that we get with the first curl. Now the idea to make it look really really natural and kind of like um, almost like you you didn't even curl your hair like your hair just goes like this naturally is that the next piece that I take is going to be the same size but this time we're going to wrap it the opposite way so we're going to put the curling iron in front and wrap the hair up and this means that the two pieces of hair are going to be facing like opposite ways and they're going to kind of wrap around each other so that gives you that really like natural almost like bedhead look and I really really love it release and now this one I know they kind of look the same right now but this one is facing the opposite so they're kind of like looping into each other so I'm going to continue alternating the next one I do will be like the first one and then I'm just going to continue alternating That's the bottom section done. Now we're going to take down the top. And what I usually do is just throw back the bottom that we've done. Obviously when you're doing this on yourself, don't wear ridiculous earrings like I am. Um, and then just bring these two top sections in front. And then I just usually like grab this piece and kind of like tie it just to kind of keep it out of my way.
when you are done, this is what your hair should look like. Um, no kind of clear defined curls or anything, just a little bit like all over the place, which is fine. Um, and at this point, I take my volume texturizer and this is by Matrix. It's kind of like a powder. And I just grab the top pieces here. And this is messy, so I'm gonna try not to make a mess, but you basically just, it's like dry shampoo. You just pour it into your hair. And it looks white, so you have to be careful to really blend it in. And then I just kind of massage my roots like I'm shampooing it. And this just makes my hair look like I've backcombed it when I haven't. Like, it's crazy. It is such a good product. So next thing I do is just grab the front pieces. And I'm not really that exact about it. I'm kind of messy about it, to be honest. Just like that. Kind of wrap it a little bit. Stick a bobby pin in and then I stick another in so that they crisscross to kind of keep them in place. And then I do the exact same thing on the other side. And this is the completed look. Let me just stand up and show you guys. So that's what it looks like. Just really natural, kind of like almost bedhead or beachy, I don't know. Um, but I really like it and I feel like this part just kind of makes it... It flatters my face shape better. I have a square face shape. I don't know, maybe it's just my face shape, but I feel like when I have more volume and more going on like up here at the top and then like soft waves, it just looks better on me. It flatters my face shape better. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know if you have any other requests, whether they be hair tutorials, makeup tutorials, fashion videos, whatever, on Form Spring. I will link that down below. And check out my blog for pictures of this look and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.